Hello, in this Pixel Vlogs video tutorial, you'll learn how to create new materials by fragmenting and composing existing materials. For this tutorial, we'll use the Voronoi Noise and the Material Sampler nodes. The Voronoi Noise node generates a set of seamless images. We'll use the flat and edges outputs to define the fragments and their borders. The Material Sampler node takes as input the material that will be sampled, and three transform images, and generates a new image by rotating and translating the location of each pixel and sampling the image at that point. In this tutorial, we'll recompose these yellow plaster images that can be downloaded from texturehaven.com. You can download these images from the link provided in the description. Drag and drop a material reader node. Populate the material reader with the yellow plaster images. Set metalness to zero. For the fragments, we'll use a Voronoi's noise image. Set the size to 1024 by 1024. Set the frequency to 6 by 6. We'll use a Perlin noise to warp the Voronoi image. Resize it. Add the warp node and connect the Voronoi flat and the Perlin noise as height. and let's warp it 30 pixels. Now we'll use a random noise and a gradient map to colorize this image with random colors. The size of the random noise is irrelevant as long as it has more pixels than fragments in the Voronoi flat image. This image will provide the random translation and rotation values we need to sample the yellow plaster. Add split channels to separate this image. and add a material sampler and connect the material and transform images. Set the translation and rotation values. This is the new sampled image. Add a scene material node to display the material textures in the scene viewport. Select an HDR for global illumination. We can edit some of the input nodes to see how they affect the output material. For the cracks, we'll use the Voronoi edges output. Add a curves node and modify the curve to get thinner edges. Duplicate the warp node and connect the edges. We'll use a second warp node to add higher frequency deformation around the edges. Add a Perlin noise node with a large frequency and high octaves. And connect it to the warp node. Set the warp amount. We'll blend this image with the material images. Add a material split node. We need to convert the cracks image to RGBA to blend it with the albedo. Use a multiply bend node. The cracks image needs to be converted to normal. Set source to height. Filter to pre width 3x3 three three and check seamless. We'll use the Perturbate Normal node to perturbate the material normals. For roughness, we need to invert the cracks image and add it to the material roughness. For ambient occlusion, we'll use a multiply blend with a low opacity. And for height, we'll also use a multiply blend with a low opacity.
Now that we have all the textures, we can add a new material node and connect the inputs. Set metalness to zero. And now we can add a new scene material node. And this is our new sampled material with cracks. We can use this graph modifying different node attributes to generate new materials in seconds. We can change the input images. We can increase the number of fragments. We can sample different regions or change the fragment edges. And this project will always generate a seamless set of textures ready to be used anywhere. Thank you for watching this Pixaflox video tutorial. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us in Twitter and Facebook.